Hi everyone, I just took the amateur extra exam and uh, fortunately I was able to pass it. It's a 50 question exam out of 700 questions and you can miss 13, so that would be a 74%, which is a solid C. I missed eight, so that's not bad. Actually, that was my average um, going into the test. I'm over here in San Bernardino. This is uh, one of the few places in Southern California that you can take the test uh, physically with a piece of paper. The club or the sponsor of this exam was the Citrus Belt ARC, and we are in the Patton State Hospital, again, over here in San Bernardino. Um, the people here are awesome. They're very supportive, very friendly. Um, and um, one of the things that I like about taking the exam in in a location is that you can bring your pencil and uh, you can write on the test. Well, not on the test, but on the on the sheet that they give you, the bubble sheet. Um, you can bring your calculator and such. Online is really challenging. I was going to take it online, but I started reading all the requirements and it is um, way more challenging than a college course it looks like they, you need two cameras and you have to hand you have to have your hands near the computer all the time you can't use your calculator or a pencil you can't have you know x y and z it's uh to prevent you from from you know cheating but it also limits you especially if you're a tactile learner if you need to write something um but anyway, um, <clears throat> I drove over here. It's about an hour and about an hour and a half, less, maybe an hour and 20 minutes to drive over here. But it was worth it. Um, so what I did was I, um, I took two, it took two months approximately. You could probably do it more, uh, you could probably do it faster. But two months, sporadic studying, um, you know, I had the Gordon West book. It gives you all the answers and very brief explanations. Um, if you want to go into more, um, f farther or, you know, farther, further information or deeper information, I would, uh, definitely go with the ARRL uh, extra class uh, license, license manual, because that one does give you, um, pretty good details, more information on you know uh, how these questions are answered the challenging part uh, for me was there were some questions that you sometimes couldn't i couldn't figure out the answer um, because a lot of the times you can you can uh, with test taking skills you can eliminate two and then focus on two and then kind of like based on your basic knowledge you can sort of figure out the answer but there are a few questions that i just couldn't you know figure out um, but fortunately i was able to get them uh, right um, another way i studied the exam also was through an app called um, this app that i have is hre extra i also went to the a R R L website and I did that. There's also a ham study uh, app that you can get as well. Um, the more uh, exams from different places, the better because you get a variety of exams and this way you get, a, you get more samples of the exams um, in terms of the questions. Again, 700 questions to, mem to memorize 700 questions. That's really challenging. There's, there's, there are people that can do that. For me, <clears throat> I felt that I needed to understand some of the concepts. Now, do I know all 700 questions? No. Do I know at least, you know, 70% of the questions? Probably. Um, and out of those, I probably have memorized the answer uh, based on the question, of course. Um, definitely, if, if this was verbal and I had to answer, that would be much more challenging. Um, but again, you know, the way you study this exam is by recognizing patterns, by recognizing, you know, 
the theory behind some of the some of the radio um, uh, physics, right? Well, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And if you like uh, this content, please consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you soon. This is Frank, KN6BST. Bye-bye.